The cover story for CardioSource World News Interventions, written by Deborah Beck, is a wonderful look at radiation safety, and today we're talking about scatter. And uh, radiation scatter is something that I want to talk to you about because it's in the May issue of Jack Interventions, and I am with Dr. Samir Kapadia, who is the director of the Soans Catheterization Laboratories at the Cleveland Clinic. Tell me a little bit about what drove you to do this particular paper in the first place. Now, in modern cardiac cath lab, we have a different type of uh, uh, imaging systems where we are not using the image intensifier, but we have a flat panel detectors. And all the data that we have, that which angles, how you can reduce the radiation to the patient and to the doctors, is from the older uh, equipment. And they are from phantoms, not from actual patients. So we have now the electronic system where we can track from each individual runs of fluoroscopy and cineangiography to determine how much radiation we used, at what angles, in what size patients. And so we have large amount of data that we can analyze and come up with an idea how we can reduce uh, the radiation exposure to the patient and to the physicians, which is very critical because all cath lab doctors and patients are getting radiated day in and day out. And in the case of this particular paper, it's the relationship of beam angulation and radiation dose in the cardiac catheterization laboratory. So tell me what you found. Most important things we found were three different things. One was to say that uh, fluoroscopy, which is initially to identify uh, where we are, is more dependent on the angles than acquisition mode. Now we call cine and geography as acquisition because we are not using cine. Uh, the acquisition modes are less sensitive uh, to the angulations, but fluoro is very much sensitive. And in uh, PCI, when we do the interventions, we use 60% of our radiation is during fluoroscopy and is not during cine and geography. So if you are going to do PCI, we may want to be very careful about what angles we use to wire the lesion, to place the stents, and then maybe we want to confirm in a different cine and geographic view uh, exactly where we place the stent uh, with angiography. So a procedural planning to say what exact angles we can use, and we have very nice graphs and charts to show that LAO caudal views, LAO views are much worse than the RAO views, and using uh, specific uh, angulations with the less cranial caudal angulations, we may be able to perform the angiography with much lesser radiation. So what's the range in terms of the variance between various angles? If you take the percentile, uh, it is 300% more wow. if you go a little bit more uh, LAO and cranial. And it is a very steep angulation. We have the surface plots to show that how steep the angles go up, how steep the radiation go up as you go a little bit cranial or a little bit caudal. Uh, it is a very exponential growth, uh, and especially in obese patients and the patients who are big, this is a big problem because you cannot keep the uh, detectors low enough to the, to the patient because they are big, so the distance increases. So you offer specific advice in this particular paper? Yeah, we do. We exactly say that you can follow these different graphs. Uh, we are making uh, an app to see if we can have people put plug in the numbers to say that what kind of radiation you're looking at for a patient. And we already have a follow-up from this that we learned from this experience and we implemented. This is from 2012 at Cleveland Clinic. Now in 2013, we implemented certain changes and we are showing now that we have almost one third reduction in uh, one half to, wow. so 60% reduction in the radiation in certain instances. So, and it doesn't make your job harder? No, it does not. Actually, we can see enough uh, to be able to do the things. If we plan ahead of time and we know exactly which views we are looking at, uh, we can, it is probably uh, idealistically better to have certain views, but when we understand that the radiation is so much more right. with those views, we can compromise a little bit on the views and get our things done and confirm our finding in a short period of fluoro with a steep views. So that is the idea. So the May Jack Interventions has a, a, a real focus on radiation safety. So it, please check out the uh, paper by Dr. Hidia and all the others in the uh, special focus issue of Jack Interventions for May 2014 for CardioSource World News. I'm Rick McGuire. <laughs>